So let's start with our wines this evening. Cool. Roll right into it. This is the unorthodox Chenin Blanc. This just came out. It's a white and kind of a brownish uh, writing label. Uh, has It's kind of a funky art. I love their concept. It's unorthodox and it's an OU bottle. It's very cute. So you have, you know, it's OU unorthodox. I don't know if that's fun or cute for everybody else, but it is for me. So we're, we're going to get into this one. Let's smell the wine and um, start from scratch. Spring light flowers, almost like the um, sweeter side of a chamomile tea. It is uh, not like overly citrusy, has a little bit of fruitiness to it. Kind of like the yellow-ish vibe of an apricot. I like to speak in colors when describing aroma sometimes. In music, we used to say, wow, this is kind of like a purple sound. Has like a, it's really fun. It has a nice, what's called a minerality to it. A little stony, little, little kind of fresh stream running in front of you vibe. Where are the grapes from? Uh, these are from South Africa. And so, if I was giving a scale, right, for the aroma, this is about, it's pretty, it's inviting, it's floral, it's, 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 um, it has a minerality to it. Is it wow? No, but it's well done. So I would give it a 20 out of 25 points for the aroma. Color is light, very easy, almost like straw. Okay, L'chai Bracha. Okay, so the initial flavor, uh, um, it is um, very light. I give the initial taste probably about like a 17 out of 20, maybe maybe six, maybe like 16 out of 25 for the for the initial taste. The middle part of the palate is very easy going, very soft. I picture this with some white like creamy pastas and uh, let's see here. So if we're referencing the taste. Taste is actually about 20. The mouth feel is more like, like 15. And the finish is like back to like eh, 20-ish. Maybe, maybe 18. Very basic, very easy going, very simple. So that's, uh, we have about a 70, I give it about a 75 overall. 